Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. And in this video, I want to talk about my thoughts on the Moffat era now we've come to the summer break. Now, I watched The Name of the Doctor and I loved Strax, Jenny and Bastard. My main issues with the Moffat era are, it's like a big jigsaw puzzle and there's bits that I pick out and it's like, I like that bit, I like that little bit and I like that little bit, but as a whole, I, I just don't feel the cohesiveness of the story and that I don't enjoy all the bits I don't like joining on to the bits I do like. So I like the Russell T Davies era because it's like blocks like this, it's like, it's like just a piece of paper just to hold on to. That's how it, the Russell T Davies era feels because it had complete stories, it was bright and colourful and the emotions of people were obvious. I have been discussing on Gallifrey Base how I don't understand the emotions of River Song and I think that's a problem with the Moffat era for me because it's all like little bits, it's just bits and it doesn't, I don't understand and everything else, also everything's all mixed up the wrong way round time wise and stuff and it's a lot harder to understand the story I do understand um, the plot but it just don't feel that I'm getting the emotional enjoyment that I did from the Russell T Davies era. I do think Moffat tends to borrow ideas and I do think a lot um, like the Time Traveller's Wife completely borrowed that for River Song and Renette and apparently he borrowed Florence Miles with stuff he just apparently he borrows things but he's not I don't feel I've seen particularly original ideas and I find that it's easier to relate to Russell T Davis who because um, the emotions are more evident so my favourite so I do have some favourite things with Amy and Rory um, what I do, uh, Caitlin Blackwood, who plays little Amelia, she's brilliant, so she's a highlight of the Moffat era. And my other major highlight of the Moffat era is Straxy. I love him, he is awesome. Just love how straight talking he is, and I love Madame Vastra and Jenny, and I'm glad they're okay, and I really would like a spin off. And it could be like sort of like Ripper Street, except it's Mad Buster Jenny and Strax. And it does and the villains, they don't even have to be supernatural, they could just be like just people. And it it'd be awesome to watch. So I'd love a spin off of that and make it like sort of simple stories every week, not like a big arc. That's what I don't like about Moffat who is I mean, Rusty Davis, he had arcs, but they sort of blended better. And um, Moffat's, he was just one big tangled arc, and you won't find out until Moffat actually leaves the show completely. Oh, we won't find out what's been going on with his story, which the, I do really like, because it's just hard to understand. And I just don't feel there's been any chemistry on screen between Matt and Alex Kingston. I just don't feel it. I think if I think the actress who played Mal's was good, and I think I prefer a different actress really. I just I just don't get the character because because I don't see because when. Christopher Eccleston and Nine and Rose, it's like he gives her his key and then she dresses up and he says, You're beautiful and then he says, I'm so glad you're here and he says, I could like 
get rid of this Slytherin that would lose you and it's like all these little bits that build up and it's all romantic but Riv Song just comes on the screen she says oh we had mad monkey sex oh yeah we all know what we do behind the scenes and that's just it it's behind the scenes so there's it's just Riv Song saying, saying oh we did all this oh you know what I do to him it's like and it doesn't and my main problem with Riff Song from the very first episode we saw her in, Miss Evangelista was getting really bullied by the, her colleagues and Riff Song didn't do anything about it. She didn't tell them to stop bullying Miss Evangelista or anything. And she only gave it what's it after Miss Evangelista had got eaten. So I thought it was really horrible because she didn't look up somebody being bullied on her, t on her team. That's where I disliked her straight away. And also, I was a bit, oh, he loves Rose, kind of thing back then. But it was, I was sort of, because I'd gone, like, I was cut pretty much okay, because I'd got past the Martha stage, which was a bit harder, but I was okay with it, and I loved Donna and Rose more. Because I liked Amy to start with, and I liked her psychological problems. I felt I could relate to that a little bit. But then she just started... There's just a lot of hitting in my fat here. Just slapping the doctor, hitting him. And there's lots of sort of sexy statements. Like people have said, oh, it's a rib song saying it about the doctor. But if the doctor reversed it and said it about one of rib song or another female, it'd be seen as like really bad and I agree with that so I don't like the quips and catchphrases in the Moffat era I just don't feel I can relate to the Moffat era at all because so my favourite era that I will treasure is the Russell T Davis era with my favourite fantastic doctor Christopher Eccleston and his beautiful relationship with Rose so hmm. so my plans for the summer are I was adding my art house co-op things. So I have a canvas to paint and a paint pen pal to get. And then I'm doing the poetry project to 100 books of poetry, 32 blank line pages. So I'm going to dedicate my book of poetry to Dr. Hugh and I Hopefully I should come up with some good poems and I shall read them out to you as and when I come up with a good one. <laughs> the, another thing I was thinking of these past few days was I'd like to um, upgrade my experience of roller coasters because my favourite roller coaster is the Green Caterpillar at Alton Towers and that's the scariest one I've been on and I've, just, I've seen that at Drayton Manor there's a family coaster called the Rhino Coaster and I want to sort of upgrade to that kind of thing because now I've sort of realised what my sensory likes are I might want to go on some on some whizzy whizzy rides that's what I thought in Nightmare and Silver the Cybermen they should have had a working theme park then the Cybermen could have because one of my ideas was that roller coaster gets stuck on a loop to leap and then everybody gets converted to Cybermen and then the roller coaster carries on and it's all Cybermen. What was my other idea? Well anyway, I, I thought it would have been good if it had been a working theme park. But I do love Clara and I'm kind of like, I like that she's sort of goddess of the universe now because I really like Jenna Louise Coleman, I think she's excellent because you can totally see even, she's quite subtle with her acting but I can totally see the emotion in Jenna Louise Coleman so I think she's a fantastic actress I just hope that she doesn't end up being um, somewhere related to River Song I wouldn't mind if um, Clara turns out to be the TARDIS that would be okay so that is what I thought about the Moffat era. I find it easier. I guess everybody 
has their favourite eras in Doctor Who and everybody has the bits they don't like in Doctor Who because I wasn't in, I wasn't really around for the, all the arguments over the classic Who so that's just part of being a Who fan I guess and I have to get used to that and stop being so emotional about it so I've got my RTD era I've got all the episodes that I love and I treasure and then the, what I find easier rather than talking about people's emotions and motivations is just looking at the John Pertwee recipe book thread and just seeing completely mad pictures that just don't make any kind of sense whatsoever that's a lot easier because I don't have to deal with emotions or figuring out what people mean it's just completely bonkers picture so I love surrealism especially love surrealism in Doctor Who and big brown hands and man eating chips was eating chips and he was brilliant and he should so have his own series so that is what I think about Doctor Who and I am looking forward to the documentary that well the, the drama docudrama that Gatus is making and the um, anniversary episode so I shall carry on chatting to my friends on Gally B and looking for art projects and stuff it feels a bit sad that there's sort of like there's a gap now of what what do we do what do we do Doctor Who's finished but I will look I'll be looking for art projects to take part in and I'll be doing more buzz agent stuff because I got a bit lazy with that so I shall be doing more of that I shall be doing more of looking for job poetry pictures and um, and my my snuggle buddy is coming round for a Game of Thrones marathon so I'll be getting back into the Game of Thrones mindset too I'm, I'm just really waiting for the novels to be written, for the rest of them to be written. And we've got the Curiosity Cube. We've got, that's nearly opened and I think it's like a virtual person on the inside. And it, the winner of the cube gets to open it and the virtual person gets to be them. And I think we've been programming a virtual person. So that's my theory for that. So that's exciting. And again to Artscape to see my Artscape buddies, so that's exciting. So I'll have to find some more exciting things to do. And go on rides and stuff and buy more teddy bears. And major thing is understanding how to keep my house clean and tidy. Because it starts off tidy and gets messy again. So I want to get the chest of drawers for my art materials so they're all tidy I want to get my study all pinkified so I can do jewellery in it so that's all tidy and then I'm pretty much free to do video requests too so if you want me to do any video I might get the doctor the new toys I'm not sure yet I might oh I don't know if I like the cardboard play sets uh, I was thinking maybe I'd get um, Ben 10 play sets maybe but I'm not sure yet and I might get some more Bpal perfume because at the moment I'm all into perfume so I've got so I guess I shouldn't be sad that Dr. Who's finished because there's still lots of things I can do and take part in and have fun with so and I love Tennant's new hair that's all flat <laughs> it's so cute so I hope you have enjoyed my thoughts on my fat hair and all my general ramblings and if you do have any video ideas that you want me to do please leave a comment down below and thank you yay thank you for watching